Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have shown you, how to update the user's basic details. So this is going to be second part of my previous video. In this video, I will show you, how you can update your profile picture. Then let's get started. We have to repeat the same process as we have done before for user editable form. This is the user profile picture form. When we click on this button, this form will appear instead of this form. Let's write this code using jQuery Ajax. First, again create a page called editpick.php and give this button an URL editpick.php. This div section contains our edit profile picture form. We have to make our form to appear in this div section. Go to edit pick file and open a form tag. Under this, create a div with the same class. This div contains input type file and this is for submit button. This is the custom class. This is the CSS code for this class. Now go to user.php file. Give this div section an ID, edit pick and this button a class, edit pick button. Using this class, write the jQuery Ajax code for this button. I have already explained this code in my previous video. Now, we will write the Ajax code for this page to update our picture. First of all, we will validate out file input using jQuery. Give this input an ID, I'm giving file here. Add enc type attribute in the form tag. I have already explained this code in my registration video. This code means, if our file size exceeds 5000 kilobits, then an error message will be shown. Let's test this code. As you can see, it is working properly. Now we have to write the code for submission. Give this form an ID form. Oh, I mistakenly given the wrong message here. Change this message.
Create a div with class image. This div contains the error or success message. This code means, after submission if this input file will be empty, then it will show an alert message. Otherwise form input will be stored in a variable called form data. And using Ajax, it will redirect us to another page called editpick underscore in dot php. This page is responsible for the PHP code used to update the image file. Now, let's create editpick underscore in dot php file and write our code. Include config.php and fetch.php files. This is the folder where our uploaded images will be kept. You have to create a folder called uploads in your same directory. I have stored this uploads folder in a variable called upload directory. This variable specifies the directory where the file is going to be placed. This variable specifies the path of the file to be uploaded. This code means, if the file is not empty, then that file will get uploaded using move uploaded file PHP function, otherwise it will show an error message. Go to user.php file. You have to put the folder name, uploads, before both of these image variables, so that it can be able to display our image, as this folder contains our uploaded images. Let's test the code. As you can see, our profile picture is updated here, and page redirected to the user.php file. And our image has also been uploaded in the uploads folder. Let's check it in the database. Here it also has been updated. So we have also completed our image updation part. This is it for today. Hope you liked and learned something from this. If you do, then hit a like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.